Facebook and Twitter overwhelmingly fail to re remove anti-Muslim posts, report finds. On April 28th, the Center for Countering Digital Hate, or CCDH, a nonprofit organization headquartered in London, UK, published a report showing that social media giants Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram failed to respond to almost 90% of quote unquote Islamophobic content. In its recent release, CD CCDH criticized Twitter, Google, and Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, for their failure to implement their policies against online hate. The report claimed that the social media company's failure to take action produces, quote, a significant threat to offline harm, a significant threat of offline harm. Uh, Kemi Badenach, the Minister for Communities and Equalities in the United Kingdom, supported CCDH's report, emphasizing the, quote, unacceptable abuse many Muslims receive online every day. The contents examined by CCDH included offensive opinions, caricatures, false claims, threats, and conspiracy theories. Reports show Report shows that Twitter failed to take action against 97% of the reported content, while YouTube did not censor 23 videos on its platform that had anti-Muslim content. Okay, by anti-Muslim, I think they mean anti-Islam. No! I oh, did some really? digging. I oh, did some did? digging. Okay, go ahead. So I looked at the report... And I, because I was worried about this, I, I had the same thought because all the mainstream media reporting on this said that Facebook and Twitter um, failed to remove Islamophobic content. And this was like the word that was consistently used to describe this report and that kind of content. And then I went to go read the report itself and the report itself only mentions the word Islamophobia like twice. But I found over 90 instances of the term anti-Muslim in the report. So the report overwhelmingly uses the word anti-Muslim more than Islamophobia or Islamophobic itself, um, which I thought was really good. Okay, but but maybe they mean they they call it anti-Muslim bigotry, but the post, the nature of the post that they're analyzing, like they are. Like if somebody is like talking crap about Muhammad, do they consider that to be anti-Muslim bigotry? No. Or if no, so okay, it's like so okay, that's racist good. cartoons, like portrayals oh. of Muslims as pigs. Again, YouTube, Ooh. I'm describing. No, something. don't say that. YouTube, that's not our view. That's not our view. Don't. That we're just describing some bigoted um, description Content. of it. Yeah, Susie, don't even say that. YouTube know. like really doesn't understand that that is not our view. So, so okay. and, well, and like but. you know, um, bigoted caricatures or even threats, and the a lot of the content they were talking about were conspiracy theories, like really bad conspiracy theories. I'm going to use some coded language, like the conspiracy theory of actually, I can't even a, a large number of people moving to. Europe to replace the people who were there before. Do you know what I'm talking about, Armin? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm like trying to, that's a big one for YouTube, so I'm trying not to say that. That, um, yeah. And so, based on what I was looking at, I was like, oh no, this seems like genuinely against the people. Very little of what I encountered in the report seemed to make me think this was a, against. Islam or criticism of Islam. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the thing, though. A lot of people will be like, this is not racist. Islam is not a race. Yes, but a lot of bigots racialize Islam. Okay, so just because Islam is not a race, that doesn't mean the people who are trying to be anti-Muslim do, do not um, you know, depict and try to belittle them as a racial group. So they do racialize it, even if it's not a race. So yes, yeah, specifically, typically against Arabs and South Asians, Pakistani. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. So, however, I have some criticism of how this report was conducted. So it was conducted over a period of one month, and what they did was they just their their barometer for measuring how Twitter is failing to 
respond to this issue is that they went and found hateful conduct that violated these policies. And then they reported it to these companies themselves. And then based on their own interaction of reporting the content to Twitter or Facebook, whatever, and if it got, if the report was accepted or not, then that was their barometer. Like based on just these personal reports that they're submitting. No, oh, okay. I don't feel like that's that objective or systematic of a way to measure how well they're addressing this issue. What do you think? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good criticism. I think, um, secular rarity is wondering if you mean tree placement theory. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, Bubble is saying this is absolutely right. I would report comments with literal slur words in them and Facebook doesn't take it down. How come the, the how That's, come our Facebook page true. gets so many strikes then if they're like this slow to take things out? How come we, I our have Facebook reported page wildly, like wildly anti-Semitic, okay. literally threatening comments to Facebook and they're like, No, this doesn't violate our policies. I'm like, how? Like how? But <laughs> Yeah, but then our Facebook page posts meme like we just yesterday we got a strike on our Facebook page. Can oh, you yeah, describe for the ridiculous thing? For what? It's ridiculous what we got a yeah, strike yeah. for. Should I show it? Well, I don't want to show it because maybe YouTube also thinks that they agree oh, with it. Oh, and them. we're streaming um, on Facebook right now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna describe what we got a strike for. Hold on, let me bring it. Okay, so says your content removed for violating our standards for hate speech. Okay, I can't even look at it. I have, I have a screenshot of it on my phone. Hate. No, I have. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, tell us what it is. So in it, it's like one of those 2009 style like advice animal memes, and in it, in the center is you know like an old painting of God, like an old picture of God as an old man, clearly the Abraham of God, saying. Don't like gays, don't like ham, don't like foreskin, don't like shaving. No reason, just don't like them. Okay, we're making fun of God. We're not saying we don't like gays. Yeah, it's saying we're, making... we're not attributing it to ourselves. We're saying that he doesn't like gays. We're not, making we don't, fun of it, that Facebook. Guy. We're attributing it to someone else. And it's also satirizing it and saying, like, homophobia isn't okay. It's like condemning yeah. That but we got a strike because Facebook thinks we're saying we don't like gays. That's what we got a strike for. We're making fun of God for not having any reason we're for making, saying that. Yeah. Unbelievable. How can we? Like, and, okay, and so this is what we got. This is the strike that we got. So you, um, hold on. No, it says, yeah, it says hateful. How do we? It's not very clear. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is for hate speech. It doesn't even tell us you disagreed with this decision. We usually offer the chance to request a review. No, However, I mean, we know it's hate speech. Or they think it is. Yeah, but they also said that we submitted the disagreement and they said they can't do anything about it because there's too many people reviewing things. So they just told us that they're not going to do anything about our appeal process. They officially told us that. This is the joys of working at Facebook, which actually reminds people, me to tell people to please reach out to me, Atheist Republics, President and CEO, if you work at Facebook or you have a connection at Facebook, because our page is at risk of being unpublished with over 2.3 million followers, like the largest atheist page on the platform. Um, just unpublished because of numerous strikes that don't anything. actually violate Facebook's policies. And I have even had Facebook employees agree with me and say, yeah, no, these don't violate our policies. But yeah, but they can't do anything. even though page, we, like deprioritized guys, to hell, not recommended to people because so of guys, atheist content that doesn't violate Facebook's policies. So email have, Susanna at Atheist Republic. Please email Susanna at Atheist Republic if you have a connection to the company who can help me fix this. Post your email in the live chat, please, so we could highlight mm -hmm. it. But also, I just want to tell you guys how ridiculous it is. We have had Facebook employees telling us that what you have have a strike on Facebook for 
does not does not violate any of their Facebook rules. Facebook, we're not saying this. Facebook employees are saying this. Yet, even with that information from Facebook employee, not only we can't do anything about it, apparently the Facebook employee cannot do anything about it either. And with these strikes, our page is almost being removed. And right now our pages are growing, our people are not seeing our posts because of these strikes. It's ridiculous. The fact that even the employee can't do anything about it is just ridiculous after admitting that it doesn't violate any of the rules. And this is a page with more than 2 million followers and we have access to nobody. So if you know somebody that could help us, please let us know. Yeah. And that's you know, it's really a matter of like barking up as many trees as possible, getting your name in front of the right person. And so it's worked for me before. And I am appealing to the atheist Republic community to help us find a connection. I know we can. And also in Thank Twitter, because we always need it at Twitter or at YouTube, because we always need it at YouTube. Yes. If you have any connections at YouTube, Twitter um, and Facebook, please contact Susanna. The Atheist Republic uh, has helped me get inside before, and we will do it again. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below